So this racist experience happened in 2010 where we were playing, we were told we were playing a, a team that was at the top of the league and who had a reputation of having players who were racist but also had parents who would support the players in such racial abuse. Uh, before the game, tensions were very high and the team didn't know how to react. Not being a very confident person, I consider myself an extrovert, an introvert at times. Um, I didn't know how to handle the situation and had many sleepless nights. But on the day of the football match, I put myself into the mindset of just going to play football and ignoring anything negative that a person could say that might affect my performance. So on the, on the, on the match day, when we were introduced to the players, no one knew how to react simply because they weren't um, very welcoming towards us as a team. Uh, the tensions then began to develop and whilst on the pitch, during an encounter where I tackled one of uh, the players for the ball, I was referred to as in a derogatory term, more specifically I was called a nigger. The referee did not react towards it and told me to carry on playing. However, this then happened again and the player's mother here decided to step on the pitch and refer to me as a black nigger. Having not also having not handled the situation properly, I lost my mind and wasn't able to focus on the game. As such, I asked to be substituted off the pitch. I found that this traumatic experience resulted in me not being able to play for the following three weeks. And at the end of the season, I later decided that I no longer wanted to pursue football. I then decided to move away from football and later found ways to manage that experience and later moved on to become a paediatric nurse where I deal with youngsters and I'm able to help them